This is the packed 22 liter everyday backpack. Let's go ahead and do a pocket walkthrough real quick. All right, the first pocket we've got here is going to be this front pocket. We're gonna get into it later in the review, but one of the reasons I love this pocket is because it actually has some built-in dimension. In here, I just keep a screwdriver kit and also a packable tote bag. Another thing I like about this bag is it has two external water bottle pockets as opposed to internal ones. I really appreciate that. Um, and they're also held together by magnets, which we'll get into later on in the review. Right here, we've just got the admin compartment. Now the admin compartment has two slip pockets in the front, and then it's got one slip pocket in the back that's held together with a magnet. And then in the front, there's going to be a mesh pocket with a key leash on the inside. In this pocket right here is going to be the main compartment. Now with this, there's not really much to say other than the fact that this is gonna be the main place where you store the bulk of your gear. In here, I store my keyboard, I store my mouse. I also have a book in here. I also keep my tech pouch and my umbrella along with my pencil pouch. And the last thing we've got here is going to be the laptop compartment, which also doubles as a tablet pocket. There's going to be two sleeves here where you can store up to a 16 inch laptop and you can also store a tablet. In my case, it does fit my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. All right, now it's time for the features and specs. So this pack is 22 liters. It's got a 16 inch laptop sleeve with a tablet pocket. It's got two exterior water bottle pockets. It's got YKK zips. It's got water resistant nylon fabric. There aren't too many details on the denier. It's got a luggage pass through and I'm unsure of the liner that they use because it's not specified on the website. Real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like and if you're really loving it, then maybe consider subscribing. All right, back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with what I like about this bag. And the main thing that I noticed immediately when I first picked it up is the admin compartment is amazing. So let me go ahead and show you guys this real quick. So hopefully if I open it up from here, you guys can get a good view. But this is what the admin compartment looks like. And it just has an amazing use of space. I feel like the organization is perfect for my needs um, and everything just fits perfectly. Like I said, I just feel like it just uses its space really well. There's also some built-in dimension, which, ma which makes this very spacious. Another cool thing is that right here, you've got this like accordion style opening that keeps it from opening all the way. So all of your stuff doesn't fall out. I feel like it just uses the space really well. I'm really in love with organization. And of course your mileage may vary, but for me personally, it fits everything that I wanna carry perfectly. All right, so just so you guys get a feel for how this admin compartment packs, in here, I've just, I've just got some gum, a stain pen. Um, back here is one large slip pocket where I keep my student ID and I keep a pack of cards. In here, I've got like a little first aid kit tin. And then this has some dimension, so I just keep a screen cleaning kit. And then there's also this zippered pocket, which I just keep some pouches. Um, and I believe this zipper pocket also has a key leash if, that, if you're into that sort of thing. I personally don't use key leashes, but it's got that there if you want. Another thing about this backpack is I just feel like the water bottle pockets are really good. So the reason why I think that is because first of all, it fits my water bottle pocket really well. It'll probably only fit like a slimmer water bottle. Like for example, this one that you see here is an 18 ounce uh, hydro flask. Um, but another reason why I really like it is there are actually magnets on here that keep the um, the water bottle pocket flush to the bag and kind of slim to the bag when it's not in use. It's also got some elastic, so there is some stretch to it. Um, but I just really think, I've never seen that before. I've never seen a, a bag company put magnets in their water bottle pocket to keep it kind of flush and close to the bag when not in use. So that's really cool, really unique. And then also like these details, like these pull tabs right here, make it easy for you to pull away from the magnet and put your items in whenever you want. Those little details right there just add to the feeling of quality in this bag. All right, let's talk about the straps. So the straps are really good on this bag, albeit a little firm for the size of it. So like I said earlier, this is a 22 liter bag and it does feel a little bit firm for, like I said, the size of the bag. Although I would rather it be a little too firm rather than too soft. Um, so I packed this bag out 
almost to the brim. And I will say that I do like it, but I think for most people who aren't gonna pack this bag out with like a 16 inch laptop and like a iPad Pro and like just weigh it down with a ton of stuff, um, I think this might be a little too firm for some people. I personally think it's fine. I think that the, the straps are really good, but you'll notice it when you, when you put it on for the first time. It's like, wow, these are pretty firm. Again, that's not a knock on the bag. I, it's just something that I notice immediately. Um, it, it feels a little bit overkill, but I'd rather have it be overkill than what's the opposite of overkill, I guess underkill. The laptop compartment on this bag is really good actually. So let me go ahead and open it up to show you guys. So this is the laptop compartment. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be in my unboxing video of this, ba of this bag. I, th I think it's to cover your laptop when it's not in use. I'm not really sure what this is for. Um, but this fits a 16 inch laptop compartment. So it fits, or a, a 16 inch laptop. So this will actually fit my, um, my MacBook Pro 16 inch. But in here, I currently have a 13 inch MacBook Air as my work computer. Um, and then I also usually keep my iPad Pro, my 12.9 inch iPad Pro in there as well. Um, it's really good. Like I have no complaints about it. You know, it kind of fits my laptop perfectly. Um, so I have no, no really issues with the laptop compartment. I think it's really good and I love how they have the um, the, the tablet pocket um, because a lot of people carry tablets these days to supplement their, um, their, their laptop and I'm one of those people. So I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and stay in the laptop compartment because I just wanna show you guys the lining that's used throughout this bag. And I think the best way for me to show you guys is here. And the lining is just stellar. The reason why I like it is because it's kind of soft to the touch, yet it feels rugged and durable. I don't really know how to describe it, but think of it as like very smooth, very, I would say smooth and almost silky in a way, almost silky, not, not like quite like silk, but it's very smooth and silky, but it feels very durable at the same time. Another fantastic part about the lining in this bag is the fact that it also uses this like light gray off white color that makes it super easy to see what's inside. I personally love that. The grab handle on this bag is excellent. I love it. It's easy to kind of ruck around with. The stitching feels super solid on the grab handles. And another thing is the fact that there's a grab handle on every side of the bag. So even you can hold this thing upside down, which my water bottle pocket, or my water bottle will fall out, but there's just a, a grab handle on every single side. Now, not of all of them are as padded as the top one, but they don't need to be. It keeps the bag kind of slim, um, but I love that. I wish more bags did that, you know, especially if you're like using this um, as your personal item on, in, on an airplane and you're trying to grab it out of the overhead compartment or you're trying to grab it out from under the seat. Having those grab handles makes it easy to, you know, um, get a handhold on it and pull it out. Kind of speaking on the same topic as the grab handle, you might notice that there's this little hook right here. And I think this is for hooking it onto like a bathroom hook or something like that. But I'll, I'll actually use my Akira clip to hook this onto and it'll put, it won't put as much stress, on, stress onto the grab handle. A really neat detail. It's great if you're gonna hook something onto the bathroom hook. It's great if you're gonna use a hero clip or something like that. Um, I really like that little feature right there. Another awesome part about this bag is the fact that this front zipper that you see here actually has dimension built in, which makes it actually usable. Um, I will say like, for example, the GORUCK bag, as great as the GORUCK bag is, and there is a little bit of dimension on it, if you have the bag packed out too much, it can feel kind of tight to get into. Um, this has a good amount of dimension and it makes this pocket actually usable. Another example of a bag that doesn't really have a great front pocket is the Black Ember Citadel. I'm not sure which version, I think it's the second version. Um, I don't know if they fixed it in future iterations, but it has like a really, shallow um, front pocket with, it, with no dimension. And the fact that I can have this bag fully packed out and still use the front pocket, it's, it's awesome. I also wanna talk about the stitching and the craftsmanship. Like this bag has excellent stitching. Um, I don't really see any loose threads anywhere on the bag initially. Let me see if I can find any. Um, none really stand out, I guess on this logo which is an, an unessential piece, but there's a little bit of loose, a little loose thread on there. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of a loose thread 
I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but there's a little bit of a loose thread on the water bottle pocket there. But for the most part, like the parts where you don't want to see loose threads, there are there are none. Like especially around the shoulder straps, not seeing anything on the grab handle, not seeing anything. The stitching on this bag is really quality. They're very clean lines. Um, and the material choice is also excellent. Like I said earlier, they use like a recycled nylon. Um, I, I mentioned in my unboxing video of this bag that I wish that they went into more detail about what the nylon is recycled out of, you know, um, what the denier of the nylon is. Um, but I can say that the materials feel very, um, let's say soft and canvas-like, almost like a Bellroy bag. Another thing about this bag that's going to be pretty subject subjective um, is the look. I feel like this look is very classic, it's very understated, and it, it's not really trendy. And I like that. I like the fact that it's not trendy because I feel like this will last for a lifetime. Um, I feel like this look will never go out of style, and I also really love the color that I got. You guys know, usually I'll go with for like black bags. Um, and one, apart from them being harder to film, um, it's also, you know, kind of not boring, but I don't want every bag that I own to just be the same color. And so I really love this forest green color that they've got going on here. Um, it's perfect. I, I'm in love with it. I think that it looks beautiful. Um, and this is just a really well-designed bag from a style standpoint. And we've got to remember that, like, you know, bags are also accessories at the same time. I, I personally love to be utilitarian about a lot of the bags that I use, but you've also got to think about the fact that these are accessories, these are things that you wear, and you don't want them to look bad. You want them to look good. You want them to complement your clothing. Um, and this will do that, in my opinion. All right, last part that I really like about this bag is the zippers. Um, I believe these are YKK zips. Let me check real quick. Yes, these are YKK zips. Um, they're super smooth. Um, I will say, well, actually we'll get to that later, but they're super smooth. I like how simple the zipper pulls are. They've got like this reflective zipper pull thing going on and they're super simple. Um, and I like that about it. I like how simple they are to grab and to pull. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what I don't like about this bag. And spoiler alert, there's not that much that I don't like about it. it this is a really good bag, but there are a few nitpicks that I have. And again, like when I say nitpick, I really mean like I had to really think about it in order to find something that I didn't like about this bag. First thing is, first thing is the front pocket. So I did talk about how I love the front pocket, but I will say that this zipper feels a little bit coarse, a little bit hard to pull. I'm unsure if it's because the angle that I'm pulling at because of this rain flap that you've got going on here, if that's making it hard to pull, but it feels very coarse and very rough. I, I don't really like that that much, but again, that's just, that. like I said, I'm really nitpicking here, um, but that's the, like, one of the only things that I can think of. Another thing that I feel like was a, a little bit of a miss, a, a little bit of a miss, is the fact that the bag doesn't stand up on its own. Um, I can't really think of why they couldn't have made it stand up on its own. I'm sure there's probably some sort of reason to it. Um, but yeah, the bag doesn't stand up on its own, so like you'll have to get it at a super specific angle to get it to stand up. Like as you can see right now, it's not doing it. So the bag doesn't stand up on its own, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, uh, yeah, it almost did it. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Um, they don't advertise it as standing up on its own, but that's something that I might like to see in a future iteration if it's possible. And the last thing, if I really had to nitpick and think about stuff that I didn't like about this bag, just to make sure you guys are super informed on, you know, everything about this, is the fact that, is the fact that these zippers right here can be quite easy to mix up. Now I will say, it looks like they thought about this by including these, um, these, the, these tubes on the zipper pull, but even with those tubes on the zipper pull, it can still be easy to kind of mix up which zipper is what. So sometimes I'll open the admin compartment when I meant to open the main compartment and vice versa. All right, so final thoughts about this bag. So when I first saw this bag, I thought that it looked very sophisticated and simple at the same time. And in the four weeks that I've been testing this, I can confidently say that that holds true. Uh, Pact did an excellent job of creating an awesome everyday backpack that just fits into my life personally really well. Um, I love their choice of materials, I love their liner, the color of the liner, the zippers, the cool water bottle pockets, the admin compartment, 
fantastic. One of, I would say this is probably second to the triple at design admin compartment. It's, it's that good. It's really, really good. Um, and I think that this is an excellent bag. So PAX, good job. I believe that this is their first everyday EDC backpack. They've done, um, I think, a travel backpack before. Um, or I know they've done a travel backpack before. Um, in collaboration with Chase Reeves, I believe. Um, but I think this is their first everyday backpack. And they have knocked it out of the park on this one. This is an easy recommend. If you're willing to pay the price for it, this is not a cheap bag. It's, I want to say, $245 to, I think $245, I believe. I'll probably leave the price down here or something like that. But this is an excellent, excellent bag. Even for that price point, I can tell, I can tell why, it's that, why it costs that much. Um, it is... An awesome bag. All right, guys, that is all that I've got for you on this bag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you really loved it, then maybe consider subscribing. Guys, if you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at MaraGhost. I'll leave that link down in the description below. But that is all. Uh, I have been MaraGhost, and I'll haunt you tomorrow. Bye-bye.